Hey guys, it's Jeremy here at Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. What do you have for today, guys? It's the next installment of my Hard Rock slash Metal CD collection. I think we're up to part 17. Got another stack of CDs here to go through. Just kind of looking at the side of it here, a lot of these are a lot of super underground bands. Not all of them, but a lot of them are underground bands. And some I got on a kind of like a blind buy... Uh, you know, buy 20 CDs, uh, mystery box kind of thing, grab bag situation. So all the ones I don't have like super ton of information on, I can just kind of go from my memory and kind of tell you what I remember. Um, so the first one we got here is Razgate, After the Storm, The Fire. This one I definitely know about is the Great Thrash Band from Punishment 18 Records. Uh, this one was not part of one of those like blind buys. I bought this one separately. Really killer thrash band. If you're not familiar with these guys, definitely check them out. Really cool stuff. Next one we got here is One Machine, The Distortion of Lies and the Overdriven Truth. Pretty cool album, great album cover on this one. Um, from what I remember, it's kind of like thrashy, traditional metal, some kind of proggy elements in there. This one's a digi pack. Pretty cool illustrations and artwork on this one. Pretty good stuff. Not one I go back to all the time, but pretty decent. Next we got uh, The Son of the Endless Night, Symbols of Hate and Deceitful Faith. Uh, this one I'm not too, I don't remember too much about this one. I think it was kind of like a speed metal kind of band from what I remember. I think I picked this one up kind of blindly because I thought the album cover looked pretty cool. But I think it was just like an okay album, nothing too crazy. And next we got uh, Crimson Dawn with... Inferno. This is a really cool band, uh, kind of a traditional metal, doomy kind of band. Really good stuff. Uh, they had a new release after this that I want to pick up as well. Through CD and Records, they were carrying stock on it. Uh, this is through Punishment 18 Records as their label, but CD and Records had stock on their new material. Really good album. Cool artwork, uh, just some really good soaring vocals, some doomy riffs mixed in, but mostly traditional metal. Really good stuff. Next we got Kill Ritual with Karma Machine, Killer Thrash Band uh, from Scarlet or sorry Scarlet Records. Um, I think these guys are from. I want to say South America somewhere. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, really good thrash band though. Definitely check these guys out. Uh, next we got Vomiter with Bleeding the Priest. Kind of killer, Death Rash Band, some Black and Elements in there. Really good stuff. I have a couple of their albums. Uh, pretty solid stuff. I picked them up uh, from another recommendation from a buddy of mine who said they were pretty killer. So I checked them out and I was not disappointed. Really good stuff. And they're out of Invictus, uh, product, uh, Invictus Records. Uh, I think they're from Dublin. Really cool uh, record label as well. They always put out killer stuff. Uh, next we got Antioch with uh, or Antioch number two, The First Strike. Um, these are This is a really good kind of local band to me. They're from Ontario area. Uh, just a traditional metal band, kind of hard rock, traditional metal, good soaring vocals, really good band. I discovered these guys through CD and Records. I've been picking up all their stuff and they actually have their new album on there. I still have to pick it up. I pretty much have all the rest of their stuff, I believe. Um, I just have to pick up the newest one. I think it's their fifth album. But yeah, really good local traditional metal band. If you're not familiar with these guys, please check them out. Really good stuff. And then we got one of the other Vomiter albums, Prayers uh, to Hell. Like I said, just another Death Rash album. Same guys as I mentioned before, one of their other albums, really good stuff. And the third one from Vomiter here, entitled, I can't even read that. Death. I can't read it. The, the font's too dark. But another again, another great Death Rush album. Really good stuff. Really brutal, aggressive kind of stuff. Definitely check these guys out. And then we got uh, Emptiness. I think it's self-titled. This is like in a kind of an ongoing guard, kind of progressive kind of metal album. So Seasons of Mist. This is one of the ones I got on the kind of grab bags, like grab 20 CDs for 20 bucks or something. It was just okay. Uh, this was another one from that, um, Obsidian Kingdom by Mantis. Another one that I just kind of got through one of those kind of blind buys to check out some new bands. 
Um, I say she has a stunning, stunning album. Put it mildly, the band should be discovered by every fan, blah, blah, blah. Um, recommended if you like Opeth, Catatonia, Devin Townsend, Agalock. Some of all, all my all-time favorite bands. I don't remember being sounding like those bands, so maybe I have to re-listen to this. Because I fucking love those bands they listed on the uh, hype sticker. So I definitely maybe should have to give this uh, another listen. Uh, next, we got a bunch of the Metallica albums. And um, like I mentioned in one of my other collection videos, uh, when I was younger, um, I was a moron and threw out cases and thought it was a better idea to put my CDs in binders, only to realize it was a fucking dumb idea. And I put the CDs back in like clear case, clear cases, but I didn't have like the album artwork anymore, which kind of really pisses me off even more because these iconic Metallic albums that I don't even have the artwork for them anymore, but it is what it is. So we got Ride the Lightning from the CD. My favorite Metallic album of all time, Ride the Lightning's the best. We got Master of Puppets, killer album, killer tracks on that one as well. And Justice for All, really good stuff. Uh, fucking Jason got ripped off. No bass sound on that one. They kind of really screwed him on that one. The Black Album, I fucking love the Black Album. Most people kind of say the first four are the iconic albums from Metallica, but I think the Black Album is a masterpiece. A perfect hybrid to kind of go bleed into the mainstream, but still heavy and crunchy. I think it's a really good album. And the debut, of course, Kill Em All. Some really good songs on this one. Seek and Destroy, Whiplash, uh, Jump Into the Fire, Hit the Lights, The Four Horsemen's Killer. Great debut, really raw and aggressive. I just wish they kind of continued that sound in, later into their career. And then we got Load. A lot of people really shit on this album, but this is kind of when I first got into the band. I actually like quite a few songs on this album. I love that The Outlaw Torn. It's like almost a 10 minute epic, really good song at the end. Bleeding Me is a good song, Until It Sleeps. Like it's got some good stuff on here. Just a good hard rock, kind of bordering on metal album. I think it's decent. And then we got uh, Death Magnetic. Pretty good stuff on this one as well. Some good tunes, kind of more of a return to form. Definitely more thrashy, uh, but yeah, pretty good album, pretty decent. And we got Reload. Uh, kind of leftovers from Load. I don't like it quite as much as Load, it's just okay. I don't really listen to it much, but Load is definitely better in my opinion. And then we got a couple more here from that kind of blind buy situation. Uh, Espen and the Witch, Older Terrors. This is from, again, Season to Miss kind of grab bag. I'm not, I, this looks like an EP. Honestly, I don't even remember what this was about. I think it was a progressive band um, from what I remember, but I don't remember to be honest that much about it. It couldn't have been that great. And then we got uh, Replace Here, Do Not Deviate. Uh, this was another thrash band kind of boarding on death metal. This was one I got from one of those grab bags, but it was actually pretty good. I did go back to listen to this one quite a bit when I first got it. Pretty good stuff. And then we got Barishi, which was also one of the ones from the grab bag from Season of Mist. Um, I remember this being kind of a progressive, psychedelic, kind of hard rock thing. It was pretty good. I remember being just pretty, pretty decent. Not, nothing amazing. And we got Dillinger Escape Plan with Option uh, Paralysis. Uh, this is actually one I got on the grab bag as well. I definitely know who, you know, um, the Dillinger, Dillinger Escape Plan was. I saw them live one time in a festival. Um, their music's really chaotic and, and uh, like, you know, the riffs are all over the place. Kind of like, um, what's that band? I mean, Sugar kind of thing, like math, metal. The riffs are very complex and all over the place. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I was pretty, <coughs> I was pretty happy to get one of their albums and that set at least to have one of them. It's not bad. It's not what I list. I don't, don't really go back to it, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, this one I got here, The Lion's Daughter, Existence is Horror. And uh, this one is actually pretty good. It's like a traditional metal, progressive kind of thing. I remember this album being really pretty decent. I remember going back to it. Uh, cool artwork on this one. I don't know, Digipack again. But uh, I remember really enjoying this album. It's kind of a gem in the, in the pile that I came across from that uh, grab. And then we got uh, Klimt, 1918. Just in case, we'll never meet again. 
Um, this one, again, I believe is kind of an avant-garde, kind of progressive thing. Um, I remember being just okay, nothing that really grabbed onto me, but just decent. And then we got uh, Bastard Feast with Osculum and, Flame, and Fame, sorry. Um, let me see what it says here. Fancy Filet, Black Dahlia Murder, Black Breathe, Nails. Yeah, so it's like grindcore, kind of melodic death metal kind of thing. I don't remember it being that good. I never really went back to it, to be honest. Um, I probably saw a lot of these ones I got on the grab bag, but obviously a little lot in, in the grab bag for a reason. It's kind of stuff that, you know, it's not, not highly sought after, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And we got uh, kind of an alternative band here, Three Days Grace, number three, Life Starts Now. Uh, pretty cool little band. I was into them briefly. I saw them live one time with uh, um, Seether and um, that band with Amy um, Evanescence. I remember seeing them on a bill one time with Max Girlfriend. Uh, pretty cool alternative band from like the 2000s. Pretty good stuff. And this is one of their other albums. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was just self-titled. The debut, I think. I still have it. And we got Theory of a Dead Man. Scars and Souvenirs, another kind of just straight up uh, alternative band. Kind of just kind of hard rock alternative stuff. It's not bad. I think I bought it for, there's one song in here I really liked and I just picked it up for like five bucks used, but I still have it in the collection. And the last one here, the Tea Party, Seven Circles. Love this band. Really good Canadian band, uh, hard rock, a lot of Middle Eastern instrument influence. Love experimentation, great lead singer. Sounds like um, Jim Morrison from The Doors. Kind of looks like him too. Definitely check out Tea Party. These guys fucking rock. Killer band. So that's all I got for you this time, guys. Part 17 is in the bag. Stay tuned for more great content on the channel. Until next time, guys. Keep it metal.